Welcome back. An Afghan woman beekeeper puts on a black turban, more mainly by men, when she goes out to work and says it makes her job much easier if she puts on a man's outfit. The 36-year-old dreams of the day that we, women in Afghanistan will be able to go out and do their work without having to hide their identity. Metro Globe Network's brilliant Shaheran has more to the story. Afghan beekeeper Gunchagul Karimi puts on a man's outfit before she goes out to work, going up against the odds every day to keep her beekeeping business alive. The 30-year-old rides her motorbike on a daily basis to get from her home to her honeybee farm, traveling approximately 15 miles to Tala village on the outskirts of Herat city. Karimi and her husband grew an investment of 6,500 Afghanis, spent on their first beehive into a business that is now worth more than 400,000 Afghanis. However, the Taliban's rapid takeover of power in August 2021 sent the economy into a tailspin and affected Karimi's beekeeping business. کوههایی که جلو خانما گذاشتن اونا برداشته بشه باید مانع خانما نشن چون یک وطن فقط به مرد نیاز نداره به زن هم نیاز داره من اولم گفتم زن یک پای قوی یک کشوره وقتی ما میگیم زن زن به معنی اینیه که به خانه بشینه فقط به چداری کنه most women who are teens or older in Afghanistan have virtually no access to education and have been deprived of the right to work Taliban hardliners have spent the past year turning back the clock in Afghanistan with a flurry of repressive addicts that hark to their harsh rule from the late 1990s. Many Afghan businesswomen who had the change have already left the country, and those who have remained in Afghanistan want their condition to be easier. متاسفانه برای خانم ها اجازه کاروبار نیه و هنوز خانم ها هراس دارن ترس دارن از اینکه بیرون شن و کاروبار کنن و از این میترسن که مانع کاروبار خانم ها بشن قبلا هم به شما گفتم من آرزوهای خیلی بزرگ دارم دوست دارم با آرزوها خو برسم دوست ندارم سقوط کنم و مجبورم که با همین پوشش مردانه که هست کاروبار کنم Adding that she dreams of the day that women won't have to cover up their identity like she does Karimi now owns three honeybee farms and proudly says the children in her community refer to her as the mother of bees. She says honey production has dropped compared to previous years, but she uses the yield that she has to fill up jars with 500 grams of honey each. In a blue traditional Afghan shawar kameez once worn by her husband, she takes the jars of honey to a shop where she trades the sweet golden nectar for cash.